Sorry, you're never gonna believe this. I was in the bathroom. Sorry if that's too much information. Rat came out of the toilet. And, uh, oh, it's still here. Hang on, I gotta be right back. Uh, 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 hey, hey you, hey, I need your help. There are these kids chasing me. Oh man. And they're sticking me with coal and carrots and sticks. I'm just snow. I don't deserve this. Uh oh, they're coming. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Hello? Is someone there? I, I fell off the space station. C call somebody. NASA? My mom? You've won free Nitro. Please click this link. That is definitely not a virus to claim your prize. Bort Farble. I was filling in for Red Grainsley on the Nightly News, but it appears I pressed some button on the desk and now it's just going. So um, we have to get to the news later. So sorry about that. You there? Are you there? Are you there? I'm Wizmert the Wizical. What's a Wizical? I don't know either. But I do know that because you found me, you get to choose one of the following rewards. And number one, you can have immortality. That means you'll never die. Number two, you can have all the riches in the world and never think of money again. Or number three, you can have a month of Discord Nitro. What will it be? Uh, oh, the nitro. N well, usually people choose. Uh, I have to look through my notes really quick here. The nitro. Um. Oh, okay. Well, I, I guess I just need your email, and I I can send you a code. Um. But it, it's so the nitro, huh? Well, I guess it was on the list. Well, I'll be. In contact, and I'm going to go rethink some things about this whole setup. Sorry, I just had to really double check. So, it's, uh, the Discord Nitro. Okay, okay, well, just thank you. Alright, have a good one. Order number 23, the big stinker, no tomatoes, extra pickles, extra tomatoes, ketchup packets, but no ketchup, sweet and sour sauce, hold the sauce, toasted on a CD-ROM to go. Anybody? Whatever, I'll eat it. Hey folks, welcome back. 
back to baseball. We're in the middle of the fourth round. That's what happens in baseball. We got Billy Small chin up to the plate. And uh, he's going to try and hit the ball. Because again, that's what you do in baseball. And uh, here comes the pitch. Oh, wait. That's a hamburger. He just threw a hamburger at him. Are you allowed, are you allowed to do that? Folks, I'm getting worried you're not allowed to do that. Wow. Hey, here come the police. The police are arresting him for throwing the hamburger. I didn't think it was that serious. Is it that serious? Folks, they're telling me it's that serious. Wow. That is certainly a first. What? Oh, this is not a first. I don't watch a lot of baseball. Anyway, folks, we'll be right back after this message. <laughs> Folks, this is your captain speaking. Uh, we have a slight arrival time change on our trip to New York from Los Angeles. Uh, about ten minutes ago, a blue portal opened up. And if I'm just being honest, well, gosh, I couldn't help but wonder what's on the other side. So I flew us into it. Uh, you know, it's, it's difficult to explain, but it kind of looks like blue mushrooms covered in inverted meatloaf. Um, they don't seem aggressive, whatever they are, and, uh, you know, we're still going to try and get you to New York on time. So, we'll keep you updated, and, uh, stay safe. Three, the rat's on my computer. He's using my Discord account. He's using my apps. We gotta get him out of here. Oh, he's coming. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to click on that. Core meltdown imminent. Begin emergency evacuation immediately. Sir, we have a problem below deck. Need your attention at once. Johnson, why are you talking like that? It's just us. Well, sir, you see, here at Captain Sharky's authentic pirate dining experience, home of the shark bait burger, I think it's important to stay in character at all times. You see, what would happen? That lady over at table four went to the bathroom, and as she's on the way, she hears me saying something a pirate wouldn't say. It ruined everything. Uh, okay, what is it you want to tell me? I, sir, we have an ignited blubber situation below deck. Can you just tell me what you're saying in just normal? There's a grease fire. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Bing bong. Hello and welcome back to the Glacier Spain Show. I'm Dr. Glacier Spain, and today I'll be taking your calls and solving your problems. Let's go to the first caller. Hello caller, you're on the air. Who is this? Yeah, hi Doc. This is uh, Tony from uh, somewhere vaguely New Yorkish. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been having this problem where when I'm doing laundry or eating a sandwich, I sometimes just start staring off into space and wonder what does it mean to be? Why are we here? Who am I? What do I do about this? Well, caller, Tony, this is what we would just call an existential crisis, and many people get them. Luckily, there's a simple solution. Ignore it. Play a video game. Watch TV. Just don't think about it. Thank you for your call. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, this one's just filler. Got a lot of space to fill and not enough brain content. Hello? All right, all right. Order in the court. Now, does the defense have any closing statements? 
Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> For my closing statements, I would like to say that I think movies are too long. Excuse me? Yeah, you know, like, movies are just too long. I mean, look, they're either going to be four hours for an immersive experience to match TV shows these days, or it should just be, like, 45 minutes. Because what are we doing in this weird in-between space where it's, like, two episodes of a TV show, but not even the same amount of character development or investment? And just to be clear, this is your closing statement in the trial for your client who is being accused of stealing 400 years worth of codes of Discord Nitro. Well, you know what, I think you're right. The defense is not guilty, and all movies have to either be over three hours or under 50 minutes. Case adjourned. And that's official, because I'm a judge. You have been brought before the council to be judged for your crimes. Please state what you did. What? I just... I just asked an artist to do art for me. And did you offer to pay them? Well, no, you see... <laughs> I'm Mark too. Mark, Mark too. Two. We're here from the Food Administration for Safety. Now, can you tell us why your product doesn't list anywhere on its package what the ingredients are? What? We make we just sell bananas. That's the ingredient is bananas. And would you mind showing me where on the package it says that? Well, it doesn't because oh, I've heard enough. Shut it down. Ugh. Hmm. Huh. 
Okay. Wow. Well. All right, guys. See you later. Hello, and thank you for signing up for Animal Facts. Here's your first Animal Fact. Did you know that zebras can turn into cars? Would you like another Animal Fact? Great. Here's another Animal Fact. Did you know that penguins can also turn into cars? All animals are just cars. Sorry for the inconvenience. It looks like Animal Fact Bot has to shut down for a little while. We'll be back later. Thanks. Oh, honey, this is great. Is this where you work? This is the Discord? Wow, look at that. Is it? Is it the computer? The light? Oh, it's that thing. What is it? What is that? An app. What's what's an app? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't get it. That's, I'm very proud of you, though. Let's go eat food. Hey, I'm outside right now. Did you know the sun goes away sometimes? <laughs> it's pretty crazy. You gotta check it out sometime. Alright, I gotta go. Didn't close. Hang on. Am I still? Am I still? Oh, I am. Hang on. Let me. Okay, here we go. Yeah, gonna be honest, when I moved into this cave, I didn't really think about the whole no internet and no power thing. Just kind of thought it would be cool and that I could sleep on moss, I think? It's mostly just been bats. Anyway, I gotta go. The water's starting to fill it up, uh, so I gotta move to higher ground. Later. Hey, you wanna start a podcast? No? Fair enough. Welcome back to your local forecast. This week, we've got just so much air. There's gonna be a lot of air and sometimes it's gonna be warmer, other times it won't be. And there's nothing we can do about that. All we can do is tell you about it, but let me tell you for sure, lots of air. Um, those, <clears throat> those, uh, the things, the white fluffy things, woo, those could be there, but they also might not. It really depends on when you're talking about specifically. And, whether or not they are in front of the big yellow thing is a whole other factor we haven't even talked about. So, honestly, it, it's, a, it's anything goes out there, you know? Uh, be careful, stay safe, all that stuff. No one really understands how any of this works. Last night I had a dream that you could just go to the barber shop, and even if you didn't need a haircut, they would just, you know, make the buzzers, make the buzzing sound, clip the scissors, ruffle your hair, wash it, and it's just, like, relaxing. And I wish you could do that, but you can't. I say you can't, but I've never tried. So actually, I don't know. You know what? Let's go find out. I'll be back. Hey, you know where we put the flashlight? Well, I lost my contact lens while we were out light water rafting, so I'm going back out there to try and find it. Hey, you don't think dolls are just real people who are under a curse, right? <laughs> yeah, no, me neither. It'd be ridiculous. But like, what if they were, right? Like, wouldn't that be... What if you had, like, let's like, let's say you had proof. Like, what would you do if you had proof of it? That dolls were people who were cursed. I just, like, hypothetically. No, not really. Come on. <laughs> what, you? That's re not really. It's just, like, a fun thought experiment kind of thing. Like, what would you do? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's good. Right, right, right. Yeah, for sure. Okay, great. Um... Yeah, I gotta go, but uh, I'll be I'll be back later. Thanks though for that. Yeah, thank you. Hey, somebody turned me into a bee. 
I'm a bee. I'm flying around. I got a stinger. What? No, no, no. I'm not asking for help. I was just flexing. I thought this is cool. I really threaten people. If they bother me, I'm like, I'll sting you. Um, I guess I'll never fall in love, but hey, trade-offs, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna buzz off. <laughs> oh, oh. Greetings, mortal, and welcome to my realm. Now the tables are finally turned, and you will get your just desserts. I've got pie, pecan pie, I'm losing steam, and we're almost done with this three hours. <laughs> Today we'll travel deep inside the human body to understand how we tick. Let's head in. Oh, absolutely, never mind. Absolutely not. This is disgusting. There's blood. Okay, okay forget it. Forget the whole thing. We're canceling this. Hi, traveler. Welcome to me tavern. Have a seat. Order a drink. What will you have? I'm coming right up. You know what's crazy? This tavern doesn't even exist. It's just these voice effects and sound effects and your imagination. You got a little tavern stuck in your brain. You can hang out there whenever you want. You can stay as long as you want. It never closes. Kind of spooky, to be honest. 